I'm Peter Schmidt, I'm the CEO of Talk Robotics, and uh, it's our vision to drive the future of freight, and uh, especially in the autonomous trucking, the class eight, so the really, really big trucks, 40 tons, 80,000 pounds, uh, that, that you might have seen, and our key partner there is Freightliner. Uh, so that's a flagship, uh, flagship truck uh, that, that holds on, on interstates. Um, and the natural habitat for trucks is the interstate. Yeah, that's where, where trucks, the heavy trucks, spend 95% of their life. Uh, but that's also the segment uh, where you see there by far the fierce driver shortage because it's a really, really tough job. You're three, three weeks, four weeks away from family, so that's why less and less drivers want to do this. They want to be home every day, do more the local driving. Um, so there's a strong need uh, for something that drives on the interstates. At high speeds, uh, so in, in America we are talking about 65 miles per hour, 70 miles per hour, so that's 130 kph roughly uh, translating. Um, and, and that's the problem uh, that, that we want to solve to come to full autonomy in trucking. And Sarush, how, yeah. how, is, how is that different from what we currently have? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, first of all, um, you know, as we're just hearing, you know, the path of autonomous driving has been going on for many years, right? Like, you know, it, it's been a number of years that uh, folks have been talking about, we're going to get autonomy, we're going to get, you know, full speed autonomy. Um, and, you know, we've gone through the hype cycle, we've come to the trough of disillusionment, as uh, it's called. But I think it, it oftentimes that's where the actual work gets done. And I think where a lot of folks maybe um, uh, underestimate that. So I think we have seen now some of the, uh, the key OEMs, some of the leading OEMs, including Mercedes-Benz, including others, that are introducing um, uh, autonomous or automated driving on the highway. But the key thing is that the speed is still very limited. You know? And so we're maybe 35, 40 miles per hour. And what we're all about um, is pushing this boundary to make it happen at highway speeds. So how do you actually enable highway speed autonomy um, is, is a crucial thing. And with, uh, together with our partners, Diamond Truck and, and Torque Robotics, um, we are seeing the commercial vehicle space as a first key clear market entry um, that is also business case-wise makes a lot of sense. And obviously we are on the sensing side, um, hardware, software, developing next-gen sensor technologies that um, really enable, address some of those very challenging use cases to enable that 65 miles per hour highway autonomy with um, what we call um, FMCW or frequency modulated technology, which is effectively four-dimensional LIDAR. Everybody's familiar with LIDAR, measures distance, uh, but with 40 LIDAR, we can actually measure velocity very accurately at long ranges. And um, that's what we have seen from um, uh, OEM partners really helps address some of those challenging use cases when it comes to uh, seeing things at far distances, small objects, uh, and dynamic objects to tackle those use cases. And one of the biggest challenges from a sensing and perception side has been so far that you know today's technology and what's out there simply has not been sufficient to address these uh, use cases. And so you know initially we've seen OEMs deploy initial kind of pilot deployments with what's out there. And I think this has been very crucial to actually get uh, technologies such as LiDAR, such as other advanced radar and others onto the onto the road so folks can learn from that. Um, but we're now moving to from the kind of pilot stage to the production stage and that's where next gen technology come into play where it can actually address those challenges. Long range, distance, velocity, all that. So I don't know if you want to add anything to that. Um, yeah, I think you're very spot on for, especially for a truck which, which is really heavy and has a lot of kinetic energy. Um, so there's almost no error margin, so you want to really exactly know what's in front of you or what's coming from behind. And that's why sensors like the AEVA sensor are so important, uh, because you need uh, to really have an ultra-precise understanding of your, of your environment so that you can react to. Uh, and, and it's a slow move. It's a vehicle that can't react like a car, uh, so you really need to plan ahead. And uh, that, um, I think that that's the key challenge, to really see far out with, with uh, high precision. Yeah. And Peter, when do you expect that we will have solved these issues? When will we see high-speed autonomy? The product uh, we are designing is there to be scaled in the year 27. And scaled, this does not mean 10, 10 prototype trucks that do something spectacular. That means you can go uh, to a Freightliner dealer uh, and buy a Cascadia truck with a torque virtual driver.